Hey everyone, welcome back. Our channel is Blue House Vintage and you can find us on Instagram at bluehousevintage.yyc. Today I'm going to take you thrifting with me to my favorite thrift store, Value Village. I hustled down to the furniture section really quickly to see if I could pick something up before the rest of the shoppers got there. And I came up empty in the furniture, so headed straight over to the vases and pottery section to see what I could find, and then the art. There definitely is a science to how I thrift, and I try to not stray from it too much. I definitely go to each section kind of like accordingly. And, um, but you have to keep an open mind, right? Cause you never know what you might find that day. And that's why thrifting is so fun and why we love it. And we really are here for the thrill, let's be honest. So I did end up finding this um, basket actually. So I'm actually, I'll show you in the next clip, but I am keeping it in one of my cupboards just as a holder for like onions and potatoes. And it was a really good find. I've been wanting to grab one for a while because I've just been keeping that produce like just in a bag in my cupboard. So this is a way better way to store it. And best part is it was only $3.99. I probably should have grabbed um, another one as well, but I just ended up taking this one and popped that in my cart. And here's what I ended up doing with it. I'm gonna take you back to my house and a few different clips throughout this video so you can stay tuned to see what I actually use the items for. And also I'm gonna keep the thrift store audio out of the video today and just have a little calmer, more peaceful video for you guys. I did end up finding this candlestick. Um, I ended up rolling it around in the cart for a while. It was only $2.99, but it didn't have a pair with it. So at the end of the day, um, you'll see that end up in the discard pile. And I did like these, these did come in a pair, but I, I'm i just not so much of a fan of the silver, you know, metal and candlesticks. So I ended up passing on them, but they were a nice, they were a nice piece. I did not end up, I ended up taking this guy. I think I paid, um, they ended up putting a sticker on it for me for $1.99. And it's just a little tea light stone holder and I thought it was beautiful, so I picked that up. These were interesting too. Again, not really my style, so I didn't uh, thrift them, but they were $6.99, so uh, $3.50 each, so not a, not a bad price for those. But um, like I said, I only try to pick up things that I kind of like myself. I did see this basket, um, brass woven basket, and maybe normally might have considered it, but um, I felt maybe at $6.99, it was a little bit pricey for me to pick up. But what do you guys think? Did I make a mistake in reshelving that basket? Let me know if that'd be something that you would have thrifted. Also, um, took I always take a cruise through the knickknacks and uh, to see what what I can find. Most of them, um, you know, obviously are not something that I would pick up, but every now and then you do find something that kind of takes your breath away. And that's what this, uh, Mr. Kitty did for me. I'd never seen anything like this before at a thrift store. Um, it really stood out and turns out it's a vintage eighties decoupage cat. And for $10, it's, you know, a pretty sizable investment, but I felt like for the size of it and for how unique it was that somebody would really, really be into this cat. So that is now listed and available on my Etsy shop. And I ended up finding this item as well in um, like the pottery kind of section. And it's vintage signed uh, studio pottery that says spoons on it. Um, so again, very literal uh, piece of pottery. I seem to like these um, container, like utensil holders with uh, words on them because I've been finding a lot of them lately. So I ended up picking that up. And I had some good luck in the mugs section on this thrift trip, which 
If you have been watching my videos so far, you know I'm really into mugs. I pick them up whenever I can. Um, although I have to say they haven't been like the best sellers for me. I usually end up just keeping them and now I have this insane uh, mug collection. But this one here was just so me and I've been drinking out of it every day. Uh, busy introverting. That's definitely me to a T. So that one I have to keep um, forever. <laughs> it's not very often you find a, a mug quite as special as that one. So that one's definitely on the, the keep list. And I did uh, also spot this cat lover mug, but I didn't end up picking that up. I thought, leave it for somebody else. And I ended up thrifting these uh, two matching mugs. And I thought they were really beautiful, absolutely beautifully made. And it looks like hand painted. So I ended up picking those up and those I also have been using and keeping for myself. So I probably won't sell those. And I'll just take you back to my house here real quick so you can see kind of how I've had those styled up. I recently thrifted this mug tree, which was in a previous video. And that's how I've been kind of hanging my mug collection. I'm gonna to need to get another one because the mug collection is expanding quite a lot. If you like this video so far, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel for more thrifting videos and drop a comment. Let me know what's your favorite find so far. What would you have kept? What would you have put back? This was one of my favorite finds of the day. So this is for me. Um, because I'm a huge Monty Python fan. Um, if you haven't seen it, watch it. It is, um, this is a, a phrase from the Holy Grail, which is one of the most uh, popular Monty Python movies. So beautiful cutting board too. I think it probably been used maybe a few times um, and I've been using it constantly since. So super happy with that, with that find. It makes me laugh and smile every time I see it. Uh, let me know if you guys are Monty Python fans as well, or if you have no idea what I'm talking about. Next up, I found a really cool wine rack. And this is kind of like a, I guess they would call it a Hollywood Regency style of wine rack. At least that's what I've seen as I've been researching them. This one I need to do a little bit of cleaning up on. I believe it has some nail polish on it. It has some like paint or nail polish on it. So I still have to take some time to kind of try to get that off. But here it is styled up on my bar cart in my uh, dining area. And I think it's really beautiful. I thought for $3.99 it was a steal. And I feel like once I get that listed that someone's really gonna like that piece. The last thing I ended up finding was a handwoven table runner and really beautiful neutral fabric. So I ended up picking that up. This is the final cart shot of everything that I found on this thrift trip. Let me know what you guys think of the haul. And I'm gonna take you back to my house to go over everything in a little bit more detail. These were the rejects, the discards. Um, let me know if you would have thrifted any of those items and now let's go back to my house and we'll go through the hall. So first up were the two hand-painted, hand-potted mugs. So these were irresistible, they're just so pretty, and they were $5.99 for the set, so $3 each, which is 
getting a little bit pricey for a mug, but I just love them, so I had to pick them up. And my favorite find, I believe, of the day, you could say, would be this busy introverting mug. Obviously not vintage, it's a newer piece, but I got it just for myself um, because it definitely just describes me. And this piece here needs a little bit of cleaning up. Um, it was $4.99 and this is just a utensil holder. And I feel like somebody is gonna really like the vintage look of it. Um, so that is listed right now on my shop. Let me know what you guys think of this piece. Is it something that you would have thrifted or passed on? Also would love to hear from you guys in the comments if you have any helpful tips for me as, you know, a, I guess essentially a beginner at uh, putting YouTube videos out. And if there's anything that you like about the videos that you'd want to share with me, or if there's anything that you don't like, that can also be extremely helpful for me. So I'd be happy to hear from you guys. I want to know what your thoughts are. I'd also love to know if any of you who are watching and uh, subscribe to the channel also sell um, vintage items online. And if so, tell me a little bit about that and what do you sell? I'd love to connect with you um, as well. Or are you, you know, a thrifter, a vintage lover? Let me know why you're here watching today. Um, what is it about the channel that caught your eye? I'd love to connect with you also. And um, this is epic. <laughs> you have to let me know what you think of my cat in the comments. I really want to hear some opinions on this piece. So was I absolutely nuts to buy this? cat? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Tell me what your thoughts are. I really want to know. You already know what my thoughts are. I can't resist anything cat. And honestly, I've been thinking about doing a YouTube video for you guys on uh, specifically cats. <laughs> thrifted. Everything that I've thrifted related to cats. So uh, look out for that one maybe coming down in the future. But uh yeah, I'd like to hear what you guys think of that Mr. Cat. And then here is the wine rack. So as you can see, there's that um, nail polish or paint. I don't know. What do you guys think that is? It's kind of like sparkly. Um, I am going to attempt some nail polish remover on that, but I also just don't want to take off the, the finish either of the metal. So if you have any tips on how you think I could maybe get that off. Um, I'd be happy to hear some tips as well. But essentially, like once you have the wine in there, honestly, from a distance, you really don't, you really can't tell. So if I end up keeping it because I can't get that off, that's fine. Um, but if I end up being able to get that nail polish off or whatever it is, then I will definitely list that um, for sale. And here's the handwoven table runner. So hand woven by Laura Fry. So it's a beautiful piece. And obviously she, you know, put a lot of effort into this. So I rescued it from the thrift store. And I feel like in someone's neutral home, that will look really good. And it was $6.49. So I feel like it was a fair price, maybe a little bit more than I would have wanted to pay. But um, for something that's hand woven, I thought it was a good deal. And here is the final thrift haul. And for the final part of the video, I'm just going to go over what has recently sold in the online shop, starting with this Brass Bird card holder for $21 on Etsy, and the Brass Twist candlestick holders. This was a set of two for $37, again on Etsy. And this beautiful, cute music box 
Uh, this is Italian and it also sold on Etsy for $22. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel, comment, and give the video a thumbs up. And we will see you in the next one.